If you have seen any of our other videos, you know that we are always looking for solutions to daily life problems and like to share them. Uh, I'm excited about this one because it's one that we have been looking for a solution to for years. The issue of being able to put on tight compression stockings when you cannot reach your feet and being able to take them off when you cannot reach your ankles or your feet. We have some other solutions for this on the website. The most popular device in the clinic with our patients has been for the last few years, the Dauphin Donner. But unfortunately, we did not have a good way for those patients who could not reach their feet to use this. We've tried many different methods and actually have found one that has worked for several, several of our patients. Uh, with a lot of training and practice, it isn't an easy technique necessarily, watch the video several times and try it several times and you can get a hang of it too. Uh, we are actually using the pig stick. Sometimes it's the simple thing uh, that is the best solution. The difference between this reacher and other reacher grabbers is the width and the way that it angles. So we have found this particular uh, reacher to be the best one to work because it can grab around the Dauphin Donner. So good luck with it. I hope you enjoy the video. It's gonna show you how to put on and take off compression stockings with a Dauphin Donner and a pig stick. So I've already loaded the compression sock on the Dauphin Donner. So refer to our other videos on how to do that. So here I'm showing, uh, I am not able to reach my feet or put my foot up on the other leg. So I'm grabbing the shorter pig stick. It comes in three different lengths. So you use the pig stick to hold the sock and the donner in, at the right angle as you push your toes through. One of the trickiest parts to this is this right here where you may have to move it back to get more room to push again. The Dauphin Donner is going to try to fly off the end of your foot at that point. So that's where the reacher comes in handy to allow you to move your foot back without losing the Dauphin Donner. There I used the, the pig stick to pull it up the leg. Many patients who cannot reach the end of their toe or, or the foot, they can still reach down to close to their ankle. So often it's enough if they can get it up past the ankle and then they can put the pig stick away and reach from that point. And I was just illustrating how you can use the pig stick all the way, but it's a little tricky. So at this point, you do your final adjustments. You use that Juzo Easy Pad, the green pad that's on the floor. That is an essential part of this technique. And then as always, you need rubber gloves to make the final adjustments in the areas that you can reach. Even though if you have wrinkles down at the ankle, you can pull those out without reaching all the way to the ankle. You can pull above them and that usually uh, gets them out. So I'm going to show it again a little bit closer. There I'm putting it down and I'm showing how sometimes they will roll side to side and you want to make sure that you have it lined up right. So you want to line up the toe seam with your toes and make sure that the bottom is towards the floor. And there's that motion where you have to pull it back. So I'm securing the Dauphin Donner with a pick stick as I'm pulling it back. Oftentimes it's enough to just do that one time. Sometimes you may have to do that two times. At this point, a lot of our patients could reach with their hands and pull the rest of the way. But if you can't, that is the way to do it. You can also use the pig stick to get it, the Dauphin Donner off of your foot. You just need to get it and get it close enough so that it's under your heel and then you can use the green pad to pull it off. And again, as always, you use the grip gloves to work out any wrinkles, get the last of the bit up where you want it. Of course, you may have noticed I'm putting this on top of my pants and my socks. There would be never, there would never be a reason to do this, uh, other than to save everybody from having to see my legs. So 
I'm also going to show now how to use the same technique to take the compression sock off. So very similar to when you were putting the sock on, now you roll it on in the same way you roll the Dauphin Donner on. At this point you may be able to reach down with your hands to pull it up the last of the way. So for this part you will need to reach to about right there, but I'm showing how if I was only able to reach with my fingertips to the very edge of the Dauphin Donner, that would be enough and I can work it up that way. So you pull it up about an inch or two from the top, fold the top down, and then push down. And again I'm simulating not being able to reach much beyond that point, so I'm having to use my fingertips. And then when I can't reach any further, I take the pick stick. This part is a little tricky, but what you see that I'm doing here is I want to get an edge of the Dauphin Donner so that I can press my heel down on it and then use the green mat, the friction of the green mat, to pull the Dauphin Donner and the compression sock off. So as you can see, at no point did I need to reach beyond, uh, much beyond my calf. Thank you for watching. I hope that was useful to you. Uh, there will be some suggestions for videos popping up if you want to see more in general how to use the Dauphin Donner. I did not show how to load it and how to use the cone. This was more an addition video to those. Uh, so click on those or uh, even better just subscribe uh, to our channel because there are a lot of videos there on the Dauphin Donner, some troubleshooting videos and also um, other devices and solutions for daily life. Uh, all the uh, devices that you saw in this video, the pick stick, the gloves, the Juzo Easy Pad, uh, and the Dauphin Donner are available at the store at our clinic website. So that makes it easy to have it all in one place. That's our goal is to try to make uh, the shopping as easy as possible or the uh, solution finding as easy as possible for you. Uh, another benefit of course, to say it frankly, is if you order from us, you help fund uh, this channel and help us continue to be able to produce these kind of videos that we do hope are helpful to many people that are struggling with different daily life issues. Uh, so I hope that you will support us in this work uh, if you enjoyed this video uh, and hope to see you on our website at selfcaretherapy.com.